Well, good evening, folks. This is your boy, Ferris Deloney, and welcome to Frugal Fragrances. Today, we're going to be doing a review of, you see it in front of you, vintage, pineapple vintage um, clones. I got my samples in today from Pineapple Vintage, and they are the Intense Pineapple, um, pineapple Vintage Intense, Pineapple Vintage Noir, and pineapple vintage itself which you see in front of yourself now i've already sprayed um them on and they come in a little decants like this when you order the discovery sets and i advise you to order the discovery sets to see which fragrance best suits you also kind of want to give you a little bit of heads up um today is february 26th i ordered mine on February 2nd, so it takes a bit of a while for you to get your order. But be patient, because just when I was just about ready to give up, it arrived in the mail. Now, when I opened it up, the package smelled like the whole inside of the delivery little envelope for my discovery set smelled like pineapple. And off top, and it as a comeback to it, it does it still does it again because this is a heavy oil laden um um cologne and heavy oily uh, fragrance and i was smelling them and of course i sprayed some on this is the one i tried on today it was just a regular pineapple vintage um it reminded me of this lacoste pineapple fragrance and you know on fur on, on first contact that's what i smell but this one develops kind of weird like it's more clawing than them it's still a good scent don't get me wrong it's still a good scent but this is less clawing and this is a lot more clawing than the uh, pineapple vintage now i'm not gonna go over the notes you can go over the notes if you want to just to tell you my experience the pineapple burst was uh, really uh the first thing I smelled, then it kind of, with the pineapple vintage, it went into this whole smoky area for a while. And then it developed into something else, which can tell you that with your body chemistry, it, it's, I don't wear fragrances next to my skin, period. Um, synthetic fragrances make my skin, with all the alcohol and the stuff that it has in it, it turns into a more, a more pissy scent and I'm gonna say it just like that it turns into a more pissy scent on my skin so I don't normally wear them on close to my skin but these I've been experimenting with and the more um, you know the more uh, expensive or more uh, more more um, I guess I say more niche fragrances because this is a niche hot house and yeah it smells reminiscent of that, but this develops a lot better where that stays the same and clawing. This develops into something very beautiful, very floral, very fruity, very, 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 very nice. I also got the <clears throat> Pineapple Vintage Noir. And I sprayed this on earlier on and I can... I can almost smell that one. I try not to spray too much on, but this has a little bit of spice on the back end of it. When it was developing, it didn't have the, the smoke as much smoke, but it did have a lot more, um, it had just a tad bit of spice, but not so much to where it would get on your nerves or be in, uh, be in your face. And this one, here, I guess they're saying that this the pineapple vintage intense is supposed to supposed to be a creative vintage clone, but I don't get that. I don't get that. It has its own lane that it's in. And the batches that they make are different, I guess. This is my first one. It I, I get it a little bit, but not so much. But all of them develop really, really wonderful. Let me see. 
I'm gonna spray this one on my wrist. I'm not gonna spray it on the back end of that one. Oh yeah. Now where, as this one, where the pineapple, where the pineapple vintage has a smoky note, this one releases and turns into more lemonier fragrance. This one, I smelled it, like I said, it had a little bit more spice onto it. Worth the money, I would suggest, in order for you to smell which one that you liked um, the best, is to go to their site in the link below I also I am not sponsored by Pineapple Vintage. It's just the fact and the love of appreciation of good fragrances. And I want people to be able to find good fragrances that are out there that are truly work, that truly work and that are truly worth the money. I think this house has a lot more to expose to us in the near future. Well, in the, in the future, um, as things develop. And I mean, yeah. That is truly wonderful. My skin is not like like that. I'm, I'm trying to upgrade my fragrance repertoire, so to say, and I'm I'm, I'm trying to see another way uh, to site that if you're trying to get into the niche fragrances, one site that you might want to check, and it's outside of this one. Um, all the other ones that are out there is before you buy is to go to Max Aroma, Max Aroma or Notino and um, they will get you an eight milliliter sample of all your fragrances and some of the times you know it, it, it's a lot cheaper I went to uh, another site that Big Beer Business went uh, mentioned and it had to deal with a subscription but Overall, from my order that I saw um, from Notino itself, it's actually cheaper to go to Notino and get all the, all the fragrances that you want to try and that these guys are mentioning. I'm not trying to, you know, bash anybody you know, or anything like that, but just trying to save you a dollar. Um, go to Notino or Max Roma and, you know, try the fragrances. See which ones that you can, you know, that, 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 um, you can get a decant of a decant of and an atomizer, a mini atom, atomizer of their fragrance of of their fragrances. And they have a whole bunch of niche fragrances as well that you can try out. I even think they have, they have a whole bunch of them like Creed and um, Mancera, Montal, which I think Mancera and Montal are basically the same company, but it's the same perfumer. Um, does both companies. But anyway, this has been your boy, Ferris. I want to remind you guys, be blessed, not stressed. Always be dressed for success. And I'll see you. Peace.